What's up guys? In this video, let's unbox and check out the glass resistance and structural integrity of the Realme 2 Pro, Oppo's latest budget offering. Nothing's off limits, no opinions, nothing's wrong I free my mind every time, try to kill us A hundred songs in a hundred weeks, what the fuck? Yo, how these dudes keep writing, do they cheat or what? Nah, bitch, we the Realme series has done a great job in the Indian market with high specs devices, attractive colors and polycarbonate design at an affordable price tag, similar to that of Xiaomi. The Realme 1 especially had a powerful MediaTek P60 processor. But Realme 2 disappointed with the Snapdragon 450, a huge downgrade. But with the dewdrop Realme 2 Pro, they are back with a high-end mid-range chipset in the 14 nanometer Snapdragon 660, which is an excellent processor. Starting with one of the best features of the Realme 2 Pro, the dewdrop design is by far the best implementation of the notch. You get to see more than 90% screen to body ratio with almost no bezels at the top as well as thin bezels at the bottom. And this makes for an awesome Full HD Plus display with a high pixel density of 441. The device might not feel that premium in hand with the plastic sides and back, but it does look cool and trendy with the reflective glass finish and color options. At 174 grams, the device actually feels light in weight due to the plastic back and mid frame and seems to look promising in the trial bend. But will it perform well in case of high accidental force is yet to be seen in the bend test. Performance wise, as expected from the Snapdragon 660, it is mostly snappy and smooth during general operations, apps and casual browsing. The Color OS custom UI may not be to everyone's liking, but it does have its own value with various different useful features built inside the settings menu. The Realme 2 Pro is a huge pass if you talk about its software performance, looks and heavy gaming. Something unusual in its camera UI is the absence of the settings menu which is present in every other smartphone. This is good in a way since most of the necessary features like Auto HDR are baked inside the UI itself which makes way for easy access. The camera settings though is in the phone settings under system app. Under the portrait mode you will find 5 different settings to play with if you are in the mood to get creative or click an insta photo. The dedicated manual mode is one of the best you can find at this price range, where you can tweak everything manually, stuff like the white balance, exposure levels, ISO, shutter speed and the focus. The picture quality is definitely better than the Oppo Realme 1, especially in terms of the color tone and balance due to the AI, where the colors seem unnatural in some situations. The Realme 2 Pro pictures on the other hand has close to natural colors and better clarity, though it lacks a bit on the dynamic range department. Compared to the Poco phone, it is clear that the dynamic range is not the best, missing out details in the darker areas of the picture, and the portrait mode doesn't activate in some situations. Other than that, the picture quality in the Realme 2 Pro is good at this price range. Starting with the scratch test, let's first remove this pre-applied screen protector which was also present on the Realme 1. The Realme 1 if you remember had terribly failed the scratch test with ugly scuff marks due to the blades. So we will soon find out if the same happens on the Realme 2 Pro and see if any cost cutting has been done. In this test, the quality of the glass you are paying for will be proved by rubbing it with common items found in pockets like keys and coins and lastly with a heavy duty box cutter. Low quality glasses provided on the Galaxy J6 and Oppo ATS ended up with ugly scuff marks by the blades, whereas higher quality corning glasses may end up with a few faint marks due to the keys or coins but always survive the blades. So let's find out if the Realme 2 Pro can survive the blade abuse.
Fortunately, the blade was able to cause ugly scuff marks, same as the Realme 1 and the Oppo A3s. So the glass provided on the Realme 2 Pro is of poor quality, very prone to scratches and definitely not corning glass. Now moving on to fun stuff, the bend test. Let's see if this polycarbonate plastic design is able to handle my bend force. Even though the Realme 2 Pro seemed to flex and bend quite a bit, it actually feels stronger and harder to bend compared to other polycarbonate builds. So the Pro definitely passes the bend test.